Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is Leah here. I'm going to make uh, another review again for Coach bag because that's my most favorite designer bag. Um, um, after I make the uh, the Dakota review and then the, um, the Kids Log bag review, now this time I'm going to make a um, review for my first pro Coach Row bag that I owned a year ago. I got it on a clearance and um, here it is. This is the Coach Pro bag in dark turquoise. It's base 30. It has a special um, handle which is whip, whip last or whip stitch, I don't know. And um, it has a, um, and each side it's not the pebble gloved and pebble leather but this is a sweat leather okay so this is the dark turquoise uh normally you're going to see a little bit difficult because uh, on the daytime it's going to be lighter than this one but um, in the um in the dark in the darker light it's going to be just like this okay so Let's take a look. This is after one year wearing it. This bag getting slouchy, which I like it very much because it just fit when I use it as a shoulder bag. Okay, so this is the, let's see the detail. Okay, it has just like the other row. It has two handle, same color, but this one is black. You can just switch and make a different, make a contrast with the dark turquoise in here. The other special is that it's beautiful with the um, whip stitch handle, same color though, uh, and um, the hardware itself is gunmetal, and the interior is saddle, sweat leather saddle. It's for me. It's really easy to get um, dirty, you know. I'm not that good in keeping stuff inside and then the inside is a, a linen fabric it's um, not white I think it's like a um, more like a brownish a little bit light brown okay um, the other special thing about the bag is this is sweat leather okay and um, after a year wearing it, the thing that I recognize is it's getting more slouchy. I fit this bag with a lot of, uh, with some stuff, and it become like this. You cannot stand. Except if you put your iPad inside, it stand. Okay, I don't mind with that because when I use it, uh, when I use it, it's just um, fit in my shoulder very good and just it's just so beautiful when you wear it as a shoulder bag like that okay it also has it also have a hang tag the same color gun metal with a sweat shadow sweat inside I never know what's for this but what I know for the first row generation, it used to store the key to lock the side zipper in here, like that. But here you don't have it. Just a, just for a decoration only. It's beautiful though, and it has a. Um, same color of the horse and carriage tag and this saddle on the back side i monogram for this beautiful laraxi in gold okay um it has a beautiful um a really easy is some um, what's a zipper it's still as smooth as the first time I use it. I receive it from the store. 
and it has also a um oh yeah so after one year you can see that the wear the um the fit only here like that i don't mind because it's already a year okay i don't find any scratch even though i wear it almost every day at least twice a week or three times a week because i switch it with my other row but no scratch on the glove tan pebble ever it's still smooth no scratch at all even the sweat itself i didn't put any i didn't put any um, moisturizer or something to protect i don't put any protection on the sweat but um it's still good all right um okay so after a year the fit has become like that okay and then um there is scratches oh on the hang tag only on on the yes on here not too much this is really weird i have a um, dinky bag with a gun metal in it and after a year after one month only it just peeled off very easy so i don't understand why this hardware it's not peeled off even though i use it every day okay but the my dinghy i just i rarely use it but after a month it's just built off like that and the glove tan leather on my dinghy bag i'll show you on the next video it's scratched really easy this one in the contrary is no nothing no scratches at all i use it everywhere when i go out of town i just put it on the floor like that sometimes but it's really it's like a heavy duty heavy duty bag for me okay so uh the cons is that the cons of this bag is only one it's very heavy very heavy without of anything on the inside it's already heavy but even though it's heavy it's still really um it's just fit on your shoulder it didn't come off like that okay hang on a sec okay all right so after a year the cons is just the hot the fit hardware scratches the rest of it oh and oh uh, it's the sweat because it's like saddle if you get the i got a lot of ink inside <laughs> pen ink inside like that okay i don't mind because yeah i'm too sloppy but um just be careful when you have that uh of course i need to be careful i need to be more careful if i have a letter bag this one is gorgeous all right so um i think that's it oh yeah i forgot i put a um this beautiful keychain on the uh, that in here okay so i'll show you how it after a year i'm wearing it because it's really slouchy it is fit on your shoulder and it's um not drop at all when you put it like that okay isn't it beautiful guys okay so i think that's it this is why i bought another three row base 30 because the uh, the sizes fit me i do have I bought a row 25 it didn't fit me it's just too small for me I'm, I'm, I'm a bigger well I just don't like small 
a bag so I sold it and I changed it to buy another three rows so now I have four I'm going to make a comparison for my four row I have this and then I have another another color for this one too which is ox blood yeah so this type of the with a whip with a whip lines has two color the doctor core and uh, the ox blood the ox blood itself has the sweat a um, settle sweat on the side so unlike this one so it has more contrast and um, well it's much more beautiful and pop up but it depends and I have a butterscotch and was right I'll make a comparison for that but uh, but thought of it well it's pebbled so it's a glove tan pebble leather so it's not scratch that easily okay um, if you have any question regarding, regarding bag I think they're go on sale so it's worth to buy um, let me know if you want to ask question about the bag and um, leave a comment and forgive me for my poor English and um, Please fix my, um, is it dark turquoise or dark turquoise? I don't know. Just let me know. Thank you for watching again and um, hope you have a good day. Bye.